Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody and today as I look around at this beautiful scenery here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 uh, we're going to be checking out this cool little new app called Smooth Track. It's an iOS app and John the developer's uh, kindly given me a, a test code to try out the app and I've been using it for a little while now and uh, basically it's a budget sort of uh, replacement for the likes of Track IR that allows uh, the face recognition software in your iOS app to uh, basically follow your face so you can look around in 3D cockpits like I am at the moment. It's not just used for uh, the likes of Microsoft Flight Simulator but can be used for any other program uh, that you might use head tracking for, for example Euro Truck uh, Simulator or Elite Dangerous and, and the likes of those. Uh, but essentially I thought I'd just take a quick look at it today, just show you how to install it um, and then like I say give you the opportunity to win one of three codes that I've got to give away. So before we get into it let me just go through a few disclaimers for a start just to make sure we get that out of the road. Uh, first thing you need to know is this is not a sponsored video. Uh, all I have received is the code itself for the, uh, for the app here. Uh, so I'm in no way affiliated with the company I get nothing if you decide to uh, purchase this app uh, I'll put the links down in the description by the way of all the information you need uh, The next question I'm probably going to get is what about an Android version? Uh, well that is coming um, the developer has sort of indicated that's something he's going to work on soon so uh, watch out for that but in the meantime it's for iOS uh, 13 I believe so that's any you know your iPad iPhone stuff like that uh, the other thing is uh, to set up this app you need two things. One, you need to uh, download the app on your iPhone and at the moment it's, uh, I think it's something like 9 New Zealand bucks or whatever, that's about 5 US, something like that. Uh, so it's not very expensive at all compared to what Track IR and uh, the other similar programs will uh, set you back. Uh, but um, it also uh, requires you to download a program onto your PC uh, to allow you to set everything up. So as usual with any of those sorts of uh, programs download at your own risk and just obviously take all uh, precautions necessary uh, also uh, don't it's probably not best to throw technical questions down in the comments because uh, I'm just testing it out I'm not actually uh, the developer I'll put a link uh, down in the description to the video that uh, John has put up so you can ask technical questions there uh, so um, what is it all about? Well, essentially what it does, and let me just bring it up right now so you can see. Uh, here goes my little iPhone right there. Here goes my biscuit. Ignore my ugly biscuit, everybody. Uh, but essentially what it's doing is using the face uh, recognition software here. And let me just adjust my heading right here so we fly uh, down the lake. Might be quite good rather than into those hills. Uh, so what, as you can see, it's tracking the X and Y axis, etc. Uh, and following what I do so when I look left and right as you can see it is uh, following my head and adjusting the uh, cockpit uh, 3D camera to, to suit uh, this is not very good driving on my behalf right here trying to drive and talk or fly and talk let's just adjust the back so we go right down the lake so it's uh, it was pretty simple to set up so let me just show you the uh, what the full app looks like and how to go ahead and set this up so if I just bring this up boom so here you go, this is what the app looks like and I've just got my iPhone right there in front of me and uh, as you can see it's got a few buttons on there but essentially you just press play. You've got to make sure that it's um, attached to your, to your network, your um, internet network, your Wi-Fi network uh, so I can pick it up and talk to the actual tracking software. Uh, it was very easy to uh, download and install. Uh, you do need to, you notice those two numbers that I haven't blurred out there. Um, what you need to do is go into the actual program so here goes the uh, open track software that you will need to download uh, and essentially you set your input as UDP over network your output is output I should say is free tracked 2.0 enhanced if you click on your UDP there it shows what port is in there which is what I was trying to say before is the port is that uh, 4242 which is uh, my port so it's very simple download the software uh, hook it all up, make sure you've got your input and output uh, set correctly, put in the right port in your iPhone app, press play and uh, have it all running before you go into the game and it should be good as gold. Um, the, it can be a little bit tricky for some users, not many, most uh, people which I've seen on the Reddit posts etc uh, have uh, had absolutely no problem at all. Look at this, the clouds are really starting to come in over here. What's happening over the top there? As you can see, just look over the top of the dash, beautiful. 
hopefully my sound still came through there as I went right past my microphone. Uh, but uh, most users have found it completely fine to set up. Um, some networks can be a little bit tricky, but most are completely fine. So uh, I've used it for probably for about half an hour so far, and I've found it to be uh, actually pretty awesome, to be honest. Considering it's less than 10 bucks, you know, depending on your currency, uh, compared to having to fork out, like I said earlier, quite a significant amount for Track IR, and I love Track IR by the way. I've had it for quite a while, and it's it's a really fantastic piece of kit. So, uh, you know, it's uh, I'm not certainly not downplaying that. It's fantastic. But for those of you that um, have got an iPhone, and hopefully in the future this will go into Android too, you're able to easily. Uh, track your head movements essentially so look at that uh, so for example one thing uh, I like to do when I'm flying VFR is adjust everything in uh, on the go uh, and at the moment I've sort of been using my mouse wheel so uh, so there we go this is a mouse wheel right there but uh, I don't have to do that I can just go in here boom what do I want to change my heading boom there we go I can see my entire display right here nice and easy if I needed to uh, go down here and adjust some lights I've got my landing lights on turn my taxi light on don't know why boom there you go so you can easily have a look around all the knobs and switches, particularly when you're starting up the aircraft. You can get right down here into your flaps if you want to do it manually. Just your throttle, I don't use that. I've got my joystick, obviously. Got your fuel switch down here. And uh, there you go. I found it pretty responsive, actually. It's uh, tracking my head movements in time, with it, as I would expect. It's, it seems to have about a 180, not quite a 180 degree view, I'm finding. And as you can see, I don't need to move my head right off the screen so I can't see. Oh, there we go. Almost did that. Uh, I can easily look up on the... Oh, it's not quite grabbing. There we go. Got it there. So it's got enough of a range of view, particularly when you're flying these types of aircraft here, to uh, grab everything you need. So I recommend it, based on what I've seen so far. Uh, and so, how can you win your copy? Very, very simple. I've set up a link down in the description to a competition. Now just bear with me, it's the first time I've used a, a competition uh, sort of uh, link like that. Uh, but there will be, no matter what, there'll be three winners. So uh, just go ahead and enter there. We do need your name and your email address. I'm, I don't have access to the emails, by the way. Only the winner's emails I'll have access to. So can I send you the code? That's all uh, I get those for. And um, I'm going to start it from, it'll be open once this video posts, that uh, competition will be open. And I'm going to run it through until 11.59pm on Thursday UTC time, or GMT time, London time, you know, the uh, universal time. So, um, and the following day I'll then post a quick little video, just, um, you know, uh, letting everyone know that it's been drawn and we've got winners. So if you want to get uh, your hands on that, go ahead. Even if you don't win it, I mean, you know, for less than 10 bucks, if you don't have head tracking software and you've got an iPhone or something similar, I mean, look at this. Great, fantastic. Man, look, I'll tell you what, I'm constantly blown away by some of the graphics uh, that I'm experiencing here on uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and this allows, it to, uh, allows me to have a look around nice and easily. Well, I've got my autopilot on here. I can have a look around and see what's going on. Uh, without having to use my mouse so there we go everybody um, you know, like I say uh, just to reiterate I've got nothing to do with the company whatsoever I've put a couple other links down there to an article that was in a PC site um, also put the link to the uh, prom promotional video that John's got there and uh, you can ask some questions in there if you need to uh, and I also put the Apple's, uh, um, Apple Store link down in the description also uh, so I think I pretty much covered it all there. It's all pretty straightforward, as you can see. And um, if you've got a game that you're playing at the moment, it might not be Flight Simulator, it might be something else. Yeah, you can obviously uh, go ahead and uh, download it and get into it. So uh, there it goes, everybody. Uh, I'll try to avoid putting my ugly biscuit on too many videos so I don't scare away you, uh, all you fine people out there. But uh, once again, thank you very much for your support. It's been really fantastic recently. Oops, I'm getting a bit of uh, FPS stutter right there as more my system not loving these clouds that much i don't think uh, but anyway huge thank you to everybody uh, make sure you smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new and until next time everybody take it easy